Hello everybody, this is Johns Hopkins with Baltimore Heritage and we're back with another of our five minute histories videos and today is the fifth and final in our five part series uh, where we've talked about historic places along and near Pennsylvania Avenue and as it, with the other four I'm going to be joined in a bit by Lady Breon Gill of the Black Arts District. have to say a final thank you to PNC and the Maryland Historical Trust for making this series possible. All right, today, let's jump in. Today, I'm on the 1600 block of Pennsylvania Avenue, and we're going to talk about the Shake and Bake Family Fun Center. And if you are sitting there by your computer or by your phone, and you say the words out loud, Shake and Bake Family Fun Center, and think of a roller rink full of a thousand screaming happy kids, if that doesn't make you smile, I don't know what will. Um, but we have had uh, this wonderful place called the Shake and Bake, that's how it's finally known, since 1982. If you are wondering about the name, it was named... Uh, by its founder and first manager, um, a Baltimore Colt player um, named Glenn Shake and Bake Dougherty. Uh, back when we had the Colts, remember them? Uh, Dougherty played with the Colts from 1972 to 1979. When he retired in 1979, he was the sixth leading uh, wide receiver for the Colts, so a really good football player. Um, he never won the Super Bowl, but he called the Shake and Bake, which he founded, he called it his Super Bowl ring. The Afro called it Dougherty's gift back to inner city Baltimore. Tonight, the ribbon was cut to symbolize the reality of Glenn Shake and Bake Dowdy's dream. A family center, complete with bowling alley, video games, and a roller skating rink that'll knock your eyes out. The name is Shake and Bake Family Center. The location, Pennsylvania Avenue. Uh, I feel good. Here we have a project that has gone through numerous uh, hurdles, and we're here on time. We got a good looking building, we got a good looking facility, and we've got great support from the not only the Upton community but the city itself. And it has been a family fun center uh, for years and years. Um, uh, incidentally, after uh, uh, Dougherty moved on from the Shake and Bake, he moved to St. Louis where he founded an uh, organization called the Career Information Training Network where they put out uh, videos of uh, featuring sort of multicultural uh, heroes and role models for kids of uh, K through 12. So a really uh, great center citizen in addition to being a good football player apparently. Um, the Shake and Bake is 70,000 square feet. It has a 40 lane, this is when it opened, had a 40 lane bowling alley, 22,000 square foot uh, skating rink, a sporting goods store, an electronic games room, remember this is 1982, so probably Pac-Man and Mrs. Pac-Man, um, and two fast food restaurants. So it was a big splash, a big hit. Um, and a really neat thing, Dowdy even petitioned successfully to have the bus stop moved closer uh, to the Shake and Bake so that uh, more people could have access to it. One unbelievable event that happened here, it drew 5,000 people inside, outside, in the hallways all around, uh, was in 1984 when Muhammad Ali was joined by Eddie Kendricks of The Temptations and came and uh, talk, uh, gave a talk here. Um, but really, almost from the beginning, the Shake and Bake had issues with finances and maintenance, and in 1985, Baltimore City took over running it. Um, they added ping pong, that was good, but they cut staff, that was not so good. Um, in 2000, and so over the years, the Shake and Bake would periodically close, and then reopen, and then close, and then reopen, um, until 2017, when then Mayor uh, uh, Catherine Pugh closed it, uh, maybe what she thought was for good. When she did that, here's what she had to say. When I shut it down, you would have thought I shut down heaven. But the roof was falling in, the floor was buckled, and you are hard pressed to find matching skates. Um, but she did not uh, shut down Shake and Bake permanently. It rose back up from the ashes. Um, it is now wonderfully restored. Uh, its roller rink floor is smooth and not buckled. Its uh, video game arcade has modern games, uh, probably no longer Mrs. Pac-Man. Um, and, uh, and it's got an incredibly nice, bright interior, uh, complete with uh, a local mural. All right, I'm going to turn it over to you, Lady Brian, uh, to talk about what else is going along here on Pennsylvania Avenue today. Thanks so much. Thanks, Johns. So I am Lady Brian, as Johns mentioned, and I know that we've been talking about Shake and Bake, so I thought this might be a great opportunity to talk about some work that we're doing at the Black Arts District, which I have the esteemed pleasure of being the founder and executive director. Um, one of the things about Shake and Bake that's really interesting when they uh, revamped Shake and Bake as an institution is they did a beautiful mural project 
in the lobby that really told the story about the founding and development of Shake and Bake as an institution. And so we are also doing some of that work specifically about Pennsylvania Avenue through our historical photography project, where we are doing photo installations as well as banner poles and others to really capture images of the people, places, and spaces in Pennsylvania Avenue that tells the story of West Baltimore from the 40s to the present. And so we're super excited to do that work in addition to uh, the photo installations that we're doing um, from you know 2021 until 2022. We're also launching an archive where we are collecting oral narratives and interviews from folks who really remember Pennsylvania Avenue of the past and people who are also doing great work of Pennsylvania Avenue today. And so we invite you to check out that archive or to upload your own story to the archive because it is its own app where you can in real time from your cell phone upload your own narrative right to the archive and have it time capsule for all time. And please look through the archive, upload your own narrative. We'd love to hear from you. And if you want to just learn more about the Black Arts District in general, our website is blackartsdistrict.org or you can find us on social media. Instagram is official Black Arts District or on Twitter we are the underscore official BAD. <laughs> and you can also find us on Facebook as well. Thank you so much for listening.